Once we asked him uh, what, what happened there when, when uh, after all, we were born, um, and he told us uh, about it, but uh, not, not so many details. It struck us, my sister and myself, uh, that my father felt quite uncomfortable in this place, you know. He uh, didn't like the memories. Uh, of course, we didn't know much about those memories at that time, uh, but we both remembered uh, that he felt uncomfortable and that he felt like leaving as soon as possible. Nie tak daleko tam na takiej ulicy zawale powiesili kilku Żydów. No to, to akurat przypadek chciał, że bo tutaj, bo tutaj w, w środku będzie nam mieszkała babcia. I akurat wracałam z powrotem, jak musiałam to musiałam to widzieć. Coming back from my grandma and I came across to this uh, execution. To znaczy byliśmy na różnych egzekucjach zmuszani, bo szła się do pracy, a oni w tym czasie na kimś wykonują egzekucję, zatrzymywali tych ludzi, coraz więcej nas się zbierało i dopiero robili specjalnie, tak, tak, tak wykonywali te gdy. Tutaj dwójka jest powieszonych Żydów na zawale, właśnie na najstarszym Kierkowie. To był a najstarszy a widział pan cmentarz. akurat tą egzekucję? Tak, na drzewie wieszani. So what was it he actually witnessed in Beijing that made him feel he must leave? Well, it was on the one hand the uh, general conditions, life conditions of Poles and especially Jews, and then the deportation. He saw the first uh, large-scale uh, deportation of Jews in August uh, 1942. I saw how a soldier tore a baby who was only a few months old out of a mother's hands and bashed his head against an electric pylon. The baby's brain splashed on the wood. The mother went crazy. I am writing this as if nothing has happened. But I'm young, I'm 14, and I haven't seen much in my life, and I'm already so indifferent. Now I am terrified when I see uniforms. I'm turning into an animal waiting to die. One can lose one's mind thinking about this. Rutger Laskier, diary entry, written in February 1943 in the ghetto, recollecting her experiences of the previous summer. One of 23,000 Jews gathered on a former sports ground, now the Benjin bus terminus, Rutger Laskier faced the selections of August 1942. Over the course of several days, 4,700 Benjin Jews were selected for death and sent down the railway tracks to the gas chambers of Auschwitz. Thousands of others were selected for slave labour, either in the locality or in camps run by the SS. Those waiting for the trains were held here in a former Jewish orphanage, conveniently situated right next to the railway tracks. They were loaded onto trucks and cattle wagons here at the Benjin railway station. One of the few Benjin survivors, Doris Martin, recalls, For the next several days, Benjin was a city of tears. Mostly people just stayed in their homes, mourning and praying. If God existed, he would have certainly not permitted that human beings be thrown alive into furnaces and the heads of little toddlers be smashed with the butt of guns or be shoved into sacks and gassed to death. I am sick and tired of these grey houses, of the steady fear seen in everybody's faces. This fear clutches onto everyone and doesn't let go. Rutger Laskier did not survive the final clearance of the ghetto in the summer of 1943. She died in Auschwitz 
just a few months after writing these words. We traditionally think of Nazi perpetrators as the front-line killers, those who pulled the trigger. But civilian functionaries also played a role in creating the preconditions for genocide. The ways in which they represented their actions to themselves and to others, at the time and later, are highly complex. Does he show you where he worked, where he lived? Yes, uh, he showed, showed us the, the house where we lived, the, um, uh, the official house that he uh, that inhabited, which was uh, the house of a former Jewish factory owner who had fled. This wealthy factory owner, the Schein family, had also endowed the Jewish orphanage, taken over by the Nazis as a dulag or transit camp. He also showed us uh, where his former office was, yes. Uh, there wasn't much to see there. It was a uh, um, very uh, drab place, and I think still is. The whole area there, on the, this uh, eastern part of Upper Silesia, including my own birthplace, Gleiwitz, I mean, this is not exactly uh, what, what you would choose for your holidays. Klauser was clearly uncomfortable about his role suffering from nerves throughout 1942. He finally left for the front in December 1942, feeling that in this way he could avoid, as he put it, innocently becoming guilty. But it was already too late. The municipal authorities had become deeply implicated, effectively incarcerating the Jews in the ghetto and making it easier for the SS and Gestapo to carry out the final ghetto clearance, even in face of fierce resistance on the part of the Jews, in an uprising lasting two weeks in the summer of 1943. In his view and in the view of many Germans, there was the uh, opportunity of the grey immigration, and that was the army, the Wehrmacht, which for a long time was comparatively independent, and later on it was, of course, no longer independent, but still people thought there they could do what every a normal uh, Britain or American did serve their country in the army. My father, of course, realized uh, much later that only as long as the army stood uh, could the furnaces of Auschwitz operate, so that this was uh, certainly an error. But this what, was what he and many others, other conservatives thought at that time.